So we've got some stuff coming up, but uh, t this video is pretty much just uh, staggered on and off over a couple of days. We've got uh, stuff coming here, there and everywhere. There's uh, volatile storm systems around and we're not getting any of it at all. It's just ridiculous. You can see how dry the ground is dry the ground is behind us and it's absolutely ridiculous so uh we just yeah kick back hope that we actually get some of it but you check that out behind me look at that it's clear there but there is definitely storms around and it is super windy so i'm trying to keep out of the wind as much as we can <laughs> Hello. Hello. Did you close your car window? I did. I was just coming out to have a look at this. I was just about to hang out watching on the line, wasn't I? Know, I? It was like sunny and there was nothing. It was like just it was like just this clear. Shower. It was crazy. Wow. And then that's all of a sudden, sick. check this out. Over there, that's the neighbours over there. But look at that. Look at that. There's rain on yeah. everywhere. And it's. Oh yeah, it's kidding. Yeah. It's still raining, wow. but there's like clear blue sky over there. There's clear blue sky over there, and there's. That's it. Tell the horses really care. <laughs> this wind started blowing, but just a crazy little bit of weather. <laughs> yeah, wow, that's crazy. I just thought it just started to go dull, and I thought, oh, I've got to go hang some washing out. I'll go check, and well, not hanging the washing like out, not complaining shower. either. <laughs> Might check the radar and see if there's any more coming. Yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> Well, what a disappointment of a day. It um, looked so promising early on. Had that, um, that just started raining. Like it's a really slight, light spitting at the moment. Like really, really light. Super, super light. Not even leaving a mark on the mule, really. Um, you can see just here, that it's raining. But it's not really leaving a mark anywhere. You can see a couple of little drops just there. Maybe, somewhere. Maybe, oh, there's one. Right there, um, but yeah, time to feed up and get it done. But yeah, there's a fair bit around. Whether we're going to get any of it or not is another question. So we'll just have to wait and see, and hopefully, um, touch wood, we might get it because everything's starting to die and look brown again. See here, where it was a uh, bright green before, and uh, I was looking out towards Delilah's paddock. You see, Delilah's paddock there is just brown so all the grass is dying off and there's nothing much we can really do about it except for hope that some of this actually turns into wet stuff on the ground which would be really nice it's got a couple sections of hay there and uh We'll call this the silence of the land. That was actually way more than I wanted to drop in there. <laughs> oh, they're happy. Look at these guys something. You all right, guys? There you go, guys. And it's quiet once again. How nice is that? Oh, goats want some. Goaty, she wants food? Yep, okay. Hello, Fuji. Hello Archie. So I am um, just out with the animals at the moment doing a bit of a feed up. As you can see they're um, all chewing away and I'm just getting out of this wind for a second and get behind the uh, container here. Now if I, uh, there we go, that's a bit better ahead of the wind. Um, now we, I've been working on some stuff today, uh, been on the computer um, on and off and been uh, in contact with a couple of people got some real exciting news coming up i can't really share it in this one but it is coming up real soon so uh, pretty excited about that and uh, hoping that we get to uh, share that really really soon
Oh, check out those dragon fruit. They are looking absolutely sensational and they are ready to be picked. So we're gonna uh, get out here and get them into our bellies because that would be sensational. They're awesome. Here's our piggly wigglies and look how big they're getting. They love a little drink there. Look at it. Have a little drinky drinky in a little pot there. They love it. Hello girl. Look at you looking all yummy yummy. So it is nearly time for these pigs to go into the fridge as well. So um, they are looking absolutely awesome. Look at the hams and look at that. We've got a whole heap of uh, bacon in there and we've got a, a pork butt which is uh, on the shoulder there, the upper part of the shoulder, and lots and lots of roasts and ribs and yummy goodness all coming out of there. So there they are, all ready to go. Now if you just check this out, if you don't know what this is, this is a mulberry tree. And this gives you, you can see, if you look around, you can see these brown patches, you can see these green patches. Um, over there where it's green, just over here, is where we run our grey water. Um, and this here, is normally my veggie garden over here. Um, I'm gonna put, actually put the sheep out on here on this, but you can see how dry it's actually been. Um, like I said, there's little green patches, but if you look at this, this is a mulberry tree. Mulberry trees are super hardy um, right through in all conditions. They lose their leaves during the winter. They are, you know, they're normally prolific on the fruit. We've got next to no fruit off this because it's been so dry. And if you have a look, the leaves are actually starting to turn yellow and we are still in summer. Uh, that's from lack of water. Now we've been watering and you can only water so much with trees. Uh, they do like the rain better. So we're just hoping that we actually get a little bit of rain coming through because that'd be nice. You can actually see if we come down here to this little lemon tree here, you can see there's a couple of lemons on it. Um, but if you actually have a look around, there's some young lemons. We lost most of them because it is so dry. All the leaves are starting to curl up. And it's, you can see in there, there's a, um, a little, little lemon right there in the middle. But you can see all the leaves are curling up and uh, they're all the same, every single one of them. Uh, now I need to water these today or tomorrow. Uh, probably give them another day just to see if we actually get any of this come through tonight and then go through and water all of our citrus. The only thing doing really well at the moment is the dragon fruit, uh, being a cactus and the grapes. The grapes are doing all right too. So, um, but yeah, apart from that, it's uh, super dry and we really need some more of that stuff. Well, I'm just over here now and uh, been giving the chickens a bit of feed and uh, I've got the rain gauge right here behind me and giving Delilah a little bit of uh, water, filling up the water trough. And we have got a little bit of rain today, so sorry about the wind, guys. So we've got uh, that. It. Did you hear that? I don't know whether it's getting picked up on that. Hang on. That's too much wind, I think, for you guys. That is our first red deer. Our first red deer raw for the season it's early man he sounds like he's up over the over the hill and down in the gully but he's he's up over here man i don't know whether it's coming through on the uh on the camera or not guys but that's a red stag they normally start uh around march april we normally start getting them roaring Sometimes they go early, but this is this is early in February for here, uh, for this location, uh, when they hit the rut, but yeah. I might have to grab the rifle and go for a look. So before I go and do that uh, really quickly, that's right, I got distracted. And uh, what do we got? One, 1 1.5 mil we've had today, so there you go, 1.5 mil. If we get it to focus in there, and um, it's better than a kick in the bum. But yep, it's uh, nice to get a little bit, but we need a lot more. We'd like it to be up here somewhere in the 80s or, you know, 
in the 80s, 90s, 100. I'm not greedy. Let's just go for 150. Let's just fill it up to there. I wonder what that looks like. I can't remember. There we go. 1.5 mil. Um, and it's that's where all those storms were just before. Uh, and you can see that they've gone over that way. I actually think I um, might be out of light to go deer hunting, but um, be keeping an ear out for those stags. Down into the dam at the moment, and uh, this here's the deepest spot in the dam. Literally in it there right now. Drove into the hole. Dam break on. <laughs> there we go. And there you go. That is the deepest spot in the dam. It is absolutely nothing in here. You can see right back into the dam there. Looking back here over the dam wall, right there behind me, and it's uh, these are the sides of the dam. That's uh, on the end of the pole, as far as I can get there, and you're probably looking at the just at the top. So uh, with the end of the pole and this all going, I can uh, probably just reach the surface from down here. But yeah, it gets deep. But what can we do? No water. It's going to be a dry, dry winter this year. So. Hey. Pink on it. How good is that?